you want to keep clownfish, but you're put off by the amount of equipment you need, the cost, and possibly the complexity of the whole thing. In this video, we're going to be going through the equipment that you require to keep clownfish successfully. Now, you may have been into your local fish shop and they've bombarded you with lots of different options of equipment that you need to keep something as simple as a clownfish. In this video, we're going to be cutting through all of the stuff that you've been told and taking it to its most simplistic. In this video, we're going to be looking at the basics that you need to keep clownfish. So firstly, you obviously have to be aware that clownfish are a saltwater fish. You can't put them in fresh water. Now that may sound like a strange thing to say to you, but having worked in the aquatics industry for 10 years, some people don't realize this and do actually put them in freshwater tanks, which results in a horrible ending for their beloved cute clownfish. I'm not gonna be guiding you on how to keep salt water. That has been already done by numerous other content creators in their videos, so go and watch them on how to keep a saltwater aquarium. This one is about the equipment that you require to keep these cute little orange guys. So the first thing you need to consider is the tank you're going to keep your clownfish in. So when you go into your local fish shop and you want to purchase a saltwater fish, you're going to be told that you need very special equipment. You're going to be told that you need very special fish tanks to keep them. And while this isn't actually incorrect, it's also not entirely the truth. You can keep fish, saltwater fish, in any aquarium as long as it's big enough for them and it can hold water. So a normal fish tank for tropical fish, i.e. freshwater fish, will be totally fine for saltwater fish. To keep clownfish, you do not need a sump. You don't need a two-part aquarium. And by that, I mean a lot of saltwater tanks will have a little tank below it, which is the sump, which basically is the filtration system for the main tank at the top. However, these are an accessory item. They're not specifically necessary for keeping clownfish. Clownfish are some of the easiest marine fish to keep, but on a scale of hardness, marine fish are hard. So these are the easy hard fish to keep, if that makes sense. So back to the tank. From what I've just said, something as simple as this, a square or rectangle of glass that holds salt water will do for clownfish. You'll note the volume of this tank is 90. So this is a, a Scaper 90 aquarium. And I'd say 90 litres is about the minimum you're gonna want for water volume when you keep clownfish. The bigger you have it, the better and more stable it was gonna be, but this is about the minimum size. I wouldn't recommend anything smaller than this. Some people do keep clownfish in smaller tanks, like the Fluval Evo, but I would say that 50 odd litres is a bit too small for a pair of clowns when they are fully grown. Something like this, which is a Fluval 123, is ideal. So it's a bit bigger, it's 123 litres. You can see I've got a Clarky clownfish in there. They're one of the biggest clownfish um, that you can get really. They grow probably two or three times as big as this. I've seen them absolutely huge. So eventually, she'll probably outgrow this 123 tank. But when we're talking about clownfish, most people think of the Ocellaris or the Peculiar clownfish. Sort of these guys here, both of which are sold interchangeably in most fish shops. These ones are midnight clowns, so they're black, but they're actually pretty much exactly the same as your common clowns in terms of temperament, how to keep them, and so on. The only difference really is the color. A big thing to consider when you're buying a tank is making sure it's got a tight fitting lid because clownfish are known jumpers. This particular tank doesn't have a lid, but I'll be making one myself out of the same material you've just seen. Or if you do have an aquarium that's open top like this one, although I, it does come with lids, I've just removed them, make sure you've got a very large rim around the edge so that if the fish do decide to try and jump, they won't make it over the edge. Okay, let's get on to the next bits of equipment that you're gonna require. The biggest part is filtration. If you go into a local fish shop, you're gonna to be told, as I've said, you need a sump. But I have run so many saltwater tanks on external canisters, I know this to not be true. If you don't know what a sump is, it's basically a separate tank or container where you keep all of your equipment. So in this particular version, it's a bit of a scaled up version, but this is the sump for my other tanks here. And all that happens is all the water runs in here, hits some filtration, hits my heater and any other equipment that you might want, like a skimmer, which I don't use. And then it runs back through another filter back into my systems. That's a sump. You don't need them though. They're sort of optional. They make your life easier. No doubt they make your life easier, but you don't need them. And this video is about what you need to keep clownfish. 
for salt water, you're best having as much filtration as possible. So I would highly recommend something like an external canister filter. Not only would something like a 207 be ideal because it's twice the amount of filtration that you require, which is a good basis for a saltwater tank. Also, it sits outside of the aquarium. If you use an internal filter, which you can, you can absolutely use internal filters when it comes to saltwater tanks. It's actually going to get in the way. It's in the, it's in the tank. But if that's all you have, then feel free to use a large internal filter or even a hang on the back filter. For instance, in this tank here, I've got a little internal filter. Well, it's quite a large one. In fact, it's, you know, 200 to 800 liters an hour flow and I'm using it as a power head. So you can imagine if you had this in your little clownfish tank, it's going to take up a lot of room and look quite unsightly, which is the argument for using the external canister filter. It's less clutter, easier to take out and clean and so on and so forth. But the choice is up to you. So staying on the equipment that is kind of seen as necessary for keeping clownfish, a lot of people are gonna get confused about lighting. So this tank comes with a light. It comes with an extremely bright 6,500K freshwater spectrum light. But does that mean I can't keep clownfish in this tank because the light is for fresh water? Absolutely not. We're not talking about corals in this video. We're not talking about anything else other than keeping clownfish. You can keep clownfish under any light you like. It does not matter what light you keep over your saltwater clownfish tank. One thing to be aware of is if you have a really bright freshwater planted light on there, you may have some issues with hair algae. So that's just one thing to consider. But what you could do to combat that is keep species of macroalgae in there like Calerpa prolifera or other types of freshwater macroalgae, and that will help to keep down the pest or nuisance algae. But you don't need a very expensive marine LED like this one to keep clownfish. You will need a heater. This is pretty obvious because clownfish are tropical fish. They require around 24 to 26 degrees temperature, which means you're gonna need a heater. Really simple, buy a heater, stick it in, jobs are good in. Flow is essential in a marine tank. Now, obviously, we're just keeping clownfish, so flow isn't as essential as it would normally be. However, even clownfish like lots of flow in their aquariums. If you buy a good enough filter, like a Fluval 207, in this size tank, that will be enough flow. You won't need to add anything extra. But say you're running a hang on the back filter, that won't typically be a nice flow for them. So something like a small power head. You can even use a little internal filter like I'm doing here. This is just an aqua pump filter. I've taken the cartridge off the bottom. I'm just using that as a cheap power head. These can be bought for around 20 pounds. You don't need to buy expensive marine grade power heads for your aquarium. So this next one's probably gonna give me a lot of grief, but you do not need a skimmer on a marine aquarium. Skimmers are helpful. Skimmers do do a good job. Do you need a skimmer? No. People will tell you you need a skimmer. I haven't got a skimmer in this entire fish room. I'm running 1800 litres of salt water, not a skimmer in the room. And all my fish are happy, all my macroalgae are growing well, and everything is looking great. So you don't need a skimmer. You can add them, in all seriousness, you can add them if you want to, because they do help a little bit with water clarity, because they remove um, organics and stuff from the water. So they're not a completely useless piece of equipment. But again, they're just another thing that's gonna cost you money for minimal kind of benefit when all you want to do is keep clownfish. Clownfish don't need a skimmer. SPS corals probably do need a skimmer. So let's stay focused on our main objective, which is keeping clownfish in an aquarium. So believe it or not, you're gonna need water to keep your salt water fish in. And funnily enough, the water you're gonna need is salt water. Now, I have said to do your research about keeping salt water fish before you watch this video because I'm not going to be going into what makes up a good salt water mix or how to mix it and keep it how it needs to be but it's part of the equipment list so you're either going to need a container to ship salt water from your local fish shop to your house and that includes RO for top ups or you can buy your own RO unit and salt and make it all yourself because of the size of my systems I make it myself because it's more economical however for a smaller aquarium like this, I'd probably recommend that you just buy your saltwater pre-mixed from your local fish shop. So let's talk about stuff that goes in the tank. 
We'll start with the substrate. In this case, you're looking at coral sand. Coral sand is your go-to substrate for a marine tank. There's nothing really better than coral sand. The reason being is it's from the right environment, i.e. it's from the ocean, and also it has a positive effect on your aquarium. It will keep buffering your aquarium so you don't get any pH crashes, which is quite important. That being said, you don't need to use coral sand. Lots of people run saltwater tanks with no substrate at all, but equally, the ocean isn't just made from coral sand. In this tank, I have got some aquarium gravel. This is just regular aquarium gravel. Now, obviously, this doesn't give us any benefit to our aquarium. It doesn't buffer the water or anything anyway. So ideally you'd use your coral sand, but this is just an example to show you that you don't have to. You're not limited to using coral sand. If you want to use a black substrate like this one that's in here, you absolutely can, but just bear in mind, it may come with a little bit more work in terms of water changes and maintenance. When I set this tank up in the next video, I'm gonna be using coral sand. So if you're in doubt, just go ahead and use a bag of coral sand. The next thing is the life in your aquarium. You want to add live rock. Now you don't have to add live rock. I've actually seen aquariums that are salt water running aquarium gravel and regular freshwater aquarium ornaments. Now I personally think they look hideous, but if you want to put a pirate ship and a palm tree in your salt water aquarium, feel free to do so. But what you won't get is the benefit of the ecosystem that live rock brings. So I will always recommend using live rock in your aquarium. Now live rock is important because it has all of the bacteria, it has all of the life forms, and this is really what I rely on in all of my tanks for the filtration, the biological filtration of my systems. And it's kind of expensive now as well, and hard to get hold of. You can use dry live rock, which is the stuff that is artificial, and um, it's totally fine. But what you'll need to do is seed it with a bio liquid that adds bacteria and stuff to your tank, because dry rock doesn't come with any of the goodies that live rock does. If we look at it, you can see there's sponges, there's coralline algae, and there's all sorts of critters and goodness in live rock. So it's, in my opinion, one of the most important bits of a marine system. Even if you took the filtration away, like the, the Fluval 207 that I'm gonna use, if you took that away, I'd be less concerned than if you took away your live rock. So yeah, that's about all the equipment you're gonna be needing to keep clownfish. Now look, don't let me put you in a full sense of security. Clownfish are saltwater fish. Saltwater fish are not easy to keep, okay? They're hard fish to keep. Saltwater is the hardest sort of spectrum, in my opinion, of fish keeping. But, so long as you know how to keep saltwater, i.e. do your research, then clownfish themselves aren't hard to keep. Um, bear it in mind, when you go into a fish shop, the job of the sales assistant is to sell you stuff. And bless them, a lot of the time, they would have been told X, Y, Z is what you need for every single saltwater customer. And they'll believe it as well. But this video is to kind of say, it's not entirely true. It's not their fault. I'm not saying they're being disingenuous, but a lot of the time, um, a salesman's gonna wanna sell you the biggest tank, the most expensive tank, the most expensive equipment, and so on but it's not always necessary. So like I've been saying, you don't need a fancy tank to keep um, any saltwater fish really. As long as it holds water, you can keep saltwater fish in it. So that's kind of my ethos. Now, of course, if you do go for a big expensive fancy tank, you're gonna have an easier time because sumps do help, skimmers do help, brilliant expensive lighting normally does help, but there are plenty of people that don't wanna spend that kind of money on expensive equipment and just want to keep a pair of clownfish and that's what this video series is about so this one is just about the equipment we've gone through i'm going to actually set this tank up with the bits that i've told you i'm going to be using we're going to actually set it up i'm going to show you how you can keep clownfish on a semi decent budget i mean this isn't cheap stuff i'm not showing you the cheapest stuff i mean a fleeval 207 is about 130 quid the tank, um, although it does come with a filter which you could use, I think it's about 140. So that's still 200 when you've got live rock, maybe 300 on, uh, for keeping clownfish. You haven't even bought the fish yet or filled it with water. So 
that's kind of the ballpark we're looking at and you could do it cheaper than that but anyway in the next video that is going to be where we set this tank up i'm going to show you how to do it there's going to be a delay because i have to actually have the tank running for a bit before i can actually put the fish in so give me about eight weeks from this video to the next installment of this series so i hope it's been useful if you have enjoyed it please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel thank you to my channel members and once again happy fish keeping <laughs>